What's going on? This is Bearded Guy123, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make this for your bearded dragon. Um, this is Beardy123, and um, we're going to make a delicious salad for your pet bearded dragon. Alright, here we go. So, first thing you want to do is take some collard greens and take a nice big leaf, nice big leaf. Just take it in the little tiny bits. That is all you are gonna do. Little tiny bits, not too big, where it's bigger than the eye of the bearded dragon between its two eyes, you know. Um, sorry, I got the hiccups right now. Um, yeah, so don't make it any bigger than that, or it can con constipation. And um, it could make it very aggressive and then leading to possible death. So you do not want that for your beauty. Alright. So now we're going to uh, take these and chop this. Uh, just shred it on up. Just going to keep on shredding it. Shred, shred, shred. Sorry. It's taking me a while. And then screw that piece. So we're going to take some kale. I got some nice delicious kale. And we're going to take a nice big healthy piece and we're going to shred it up as well. So that way the bearded dragon does not only have one green for its, uh, for health, but it has multiple flavors. Because it's like as if you if you were to eat a burger for the rest of your life, you'd get pretty sick of burgers and you'd be pretty fat too. And um, just like him, well he wouldn't get fat because it's greens, but it would be like eating a burger for the rest of your life. So... Always keep that in mind when you're feeding your beardy, you know, makes you kind of put yourself in his position. All right, so now we got that going. Now what we're going to do is um, we're going to get some protein up in there. You got a nice thing of worms. I took it out from this mealworm container because we didn't want, there's a bunch of sand in here for them to eat and stuff. I guess that's what they eat or something. But we don't want to get a bunch of sand in the salad because it could easily um, clog your uh, beardy systems and um, lead to constipation and possible death if he does not get his poop out. So, we're going to take some of these here mealworms and just sprinkle them on like we're sprinkling like dust onto whatever you sprinkle dust on. Pour out the rest of that dirt. All right, now we got that. And, oh, I forgot to mention that um, these little guys, bell peppers, red bell peppers and yellow bell peppers. Do not use uh, any other bell peppers because I'm not sure if they're good. Look it up. I don't know. I will give you that information in the description. And, yeah. Um, so, I had this here knife and I chopped up. You can, you know, just chop up your greens or I just shredded them up as you saw. Or you could chop up your um bell peppers yeah a really healthy for them and some people get this confused never feed them spinach ever everybody thinks oh my god spinach is so damn healthy well no one gives a fuck because spinach is not healthy for them it will kill them because it is slimy and gets stuck in their bowels and it will kill them do not do that okay now we got this nature zone her production Beardy bites, beardy bites, and I, I, I'm not sure what's in them. I know that it's meat for them. So you're just gonna take a nice big, nice big bunch of these. And the only reason I use these two is because I um don't like I don't like to um really try to sprinkle the worms with calcium dust. Because it doesn't really stick on. So these guys, they're kind of moist, so it does stick on. So sprinkle these on here, you know. Sprinkle them nice. Awesome. Cool. Delicious. And um, I got this Repticalcium from Zoomed. And the only reason, and I, oh, well, I also have this Repcal. Um, it's really good for them. And you have to always make sure it's with vitamin D3. Because if it's with D2, D1, or these nuts, it <laughs> it will, like, not work for them. It will be all bad. 
and um, won't give them the proper nutrition and the proper vitamins they need to grow and be a healthy beauty. So, um, I'm going to use this Zoomed one only because it's got things for you to sprinkle stuff with it. Unlike this one, which is, I like this one better as a powder because it's a lot more of a fine powder. But, um, I like to use this one because it's not as fine. It's a little bit more chunky and chalky, but it's got the little shaker. Now you're just going to take some and shake some of this here calcium dust on. And, well, ladies and gentlemen, that is it for today. This wonderful, healthy, juicy meal for your bearded dragon. And always remember, do not always overload with calcium dust because... Oh, worms getting away. Be, uh, if you overload it with calcium dust every single time you feed him, he can die. I always just put however much I do or whatever, however much comes out of calcium dust on the first meal in the morning. You know, most important meal of the day. And um, and then when you feed him again, I only feed him two and then a couple snacks in between in midday. But I only feed him two times a day. One one big meal in the morning, one big meal at night. Every time, I, you know, sometimes I'll give him some snacks in the midday. And, but, so yeah. I put calcium dust on it in the morning, but I don't put um, calcium dust on the salad or whatever I'm giving him at night because that will overload him with calcium dust and he can die sadly sorry buddy not a lot of space here all right guys that is it for today but make sure to like comment and subscribe to my channel new channel come on need some fans but yeah like comment and subscribe thanks